today we are going to be doing a how-to on how to do a sumo squat. Now, if you haven't already seen, I'm also posting a video of a how-to of how to do regular squats. So this is just another variation of the squat, but it's gonna have emphasis on our inner thigh and our booties, okay? So with that being said, before we get into this video, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to your guys' channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop another video. Video, video, hey. Video, video, hey. Y'all have too much energy today. I and mean, also make sure, ooh, this is a, a helicopter over us. So I'm sorry about this background noise, y'all. But also make sure that you share this video with everybody that you know. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. Peace out. <laughs> All right, Fit Fam, so we are back in the building and we're about to go ahead and get into some of these benefits. So if you've seen my squat, if you haven't seen my squat video, make sure, well, my how-to on how to do a regular squat, make sure that you go ahead and go check that out right now. Um, so the benefits for a sumo squat are the same. Like what muscles are we working? When we're working our lower body, we're working the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, we're working the adductors, the abductors, the calves, everything, the core. But with a sumo squat, which is a variation of a regular squat, you know, regular squat, we're here, Bam, right? Sumo squat, we're taking our feet out and they're gonna be at a 45 degree angle. So this one is gonna have emphasis on our inner um, thighs, which are our adductor muscles, and then also the glutes, the bubble, right? So with that being said, benefits are the same for sumo squats as well as um, regular squats and strengthening your lower body. Um, also uh, core, strengthening your core helping to reduce risk of injury also because you're still strengthening those tendons and those ligaments um so yeah that with that being said i can't even get my words out <laughs> with that being said let's just go ahead and get right into how to do a proper sumo squat let's get it let's go all right fam so we're back let's go ahead and get into this how to do a sumo squat with proper form all right so first and foremost you want to make sure that your feet are out wide. So it's going to be, for me, I would say I'm about two steps outside of my shoulder width apart. So again, shoulder width apart means the distance, same equal distance of your shoulders, right? So you want your feet to be the same distance apart as your shoulders. So if I come down, boom, that's how you know. That's like my guide, right? I point down, my feet should be right there. So I take my feet out like two steps. And then I want to point my feet out 45 degrees. Now, for everybody, depending on how your height, their distance out, you still want to follow that same kind of like guideline. Um, but it's going to be different how wide your legs are. And you also want to do it based on comfortability. If you have like different knee pains and things like that, um, I am going to be posting a how to do squats um, that can help with, if you have knee pain and also easing it to where you can still work your lower body and strengthen those muscles without causing extra pressure and putting extra pressure on your knees. So stay tuned for that as well. But you want your feet to be out at a 45 degree angle. Once your feet are out at a 45 degree angle, it's the same form as a regular squat. So you're gonna be sitting back, pushing your hips backwards into the squat. Knees are still gonna be over toes, not in front, not too far behind. Knees over toes. Here, boom. When you push your hips back, your shoulders should be level with your hips here. Your chest is still up, coming down. This is 90. Breathe out, coming up. All right, same thing. Thrust the hips forward, squeeze glutes, squeeze core that I showed you in the regular squat video. So I'm gonna get it from a side angle. Here, feet out 45 degrees. You wanna make sure if we're pushing our hips backwards, like we're sitting down into a chair. Down. Shoulders level with my hips here. Chest is up, breathing in, breathe out. Squeeze core, squeeze glutes. Breathe in, breathe out. You can also do 45 degrees. So if you feel like 90, we're not quite ready to go all the way down that far yet, then you can go here, 45, press and squeeze, all right? And remember not to overextend here. You don't wanna push your hips too far past your feet okay you're just coming straight down straight up okay so um that is how we do a proper sumo squat if you have any questions um over 
what I went over in this video, make sure that you drop them down in the comment section below. Let's talk about it. If you have other content that you want to see, let your girl know. Um, like I said, I'm trying to give y'all a whole lot of different content, but helpful and useful content that you can just refer back to. I want my fitness channel to have like a bunch of stuff where you can laugh and you can see my personality and get to know a little bit more about my life, but also almost be like a fitness library that you can refer back to um, if you ever need to. If you're trying to change up your workout plan, maybe um, you can refer these videos to other people if they have questions over how to do certain form or form for different exercises correctly or they need inspiration for workouts. I want this to be the go-to channel for that. So as always, I love y'all. Um, y'all already know we reached 3K subs. So, you know, we got to turn up a little bit for that. We're on the road to 5K. And um, I know that we're going to get there. If you have anything that you want me to support, let me know. Drop it down in the comment section. Or DM me on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. And yeah, with that being said, we out of here. My three, B, L, Squad, video, hey, video, video.